Hi, well, having put up well well over 100 films now on YouTube, thought perhaps just talk about cameras a little bit and just show you some of the cameras I use. And one of my old favourites is this little Canon pocket camera. And it's very good, it's been my trusty old friend really. It's actual model, it's a SX220, a power shot SX220. But it's, it's basically a generic little handheld camera. And what I like about it is very compact and it's got reasonable sound quality and a nice zoom lens. And it's amazing the quality you can get off these little cameras these days. And I've shot a lot of films on this one, so things like a blacksmithing um, a spoon knife, that was shot on this one. It's unobtrusive, it's easy to pop in your pocket, so that's why I like it. My other main camera to date has been this one, it's a Canon EOS M, and <laughs> it's quite nice sound quality, you can take the lenses off, and put different lenses on. It does have an external microphone as well. What I like about this camera, it's very good for low light using this f2 lens. So things like filming the Mary Rose, it was a nice camera for that. What I don't like about it is it's quite sort of fiddly to use because the focus wanders a bit, even though I put it on the manual focus and things like that. It's a bit more of a hassle to use. It's not like the other one, which is a point and shoot but the actual quality of the pictures coming off of this is high and that's very nice. Now, this is another camera that we've used. We used this camera on the film making the bowl turning, forging bowl turners hooks and it's actually my son John's camera and John is actually studying film and it's a nice, it's a Canon 600D, EOS 600D, I think they're Rebel T3Is or something like that in the States and it's got a whacking great lens on it. This lens is actually lets in a huge amount of light. In terms of wide angleness, it's quite like my little EOS M. But this lens is an f1.5, so lovely lens for getting extra light in low lighting situations. And I mean, this sort of camera is just really a more sophisticated version. It's got a nice articulated screen, which is useful if you're trying to look at yourself when you're talking to a camera and it's just nice, high quality all around. It is, in my opinion, quite a heavy, weighty camera, <laughs> and it's not the most discreet camera to be walking around with the whole time. So I think for me, it's a bit too technical and a bit too complicated, but it does give stunning macro shots, uh, like the bowl turning hooks, the, the glow off those is lovely. So it is a, a beautiful bit of camera. Now, this is one of John's cameras as well, and it's a phone, basically. It's a one plus one phone. But what's rather interesting about this is it shoots in 4K, which is basically more pixels than HD film. So it's the next big thing, I guess. But um, he's shot a film on Iceland with this phone. So you'll see that on the channel. Right, we have now shifted cameras and this at the moment is being filmed on my Canon EOS M, the, the smaller camera. So it just gives you an idea of the picture quality. And the reason we've done that is I've got a new camera and it's a little video camera. It's one of these little Sony Handycams. And the reason I got this, it was virtually half price in the sales. So I haven't actually given it a proper run yet. So we'll see how it goes. But I wanted something with optical steady shot. Now Sony does a system in their little video cameras in the slightly better ones where it's got a stabilizing system. And quite a lot of my filming's done sort of walking around so this optical steady shot should be quite good for that. And it was 150 UK pounds, this one. It is pretty cheap actually for a video camera. But what I quite like, I say optical steady shot, a nice flip out screen and powerful zoom. Quality, not going to be brilliant being realistic, but probably adequate. And given it's got the stabilisation, I think you gain some, you lose some. And that's really the thing with all of these cameras. They all have their strengths and weaknesses. Here's a quick roundup and this is my little pocket camera. Very nice, as I say, pocketable and nice zoom lens, reasonable sound. Anyone can use it. Uh, so that's great. I can pass it to friends so they can use it while I'm filming. So it's a good all-rounder. The video camera is key component is that optical steady shot. If I'm going around doing filming on the hoof, then I will get a smoother picture of this one. Fantastic zoom, flip out screen quite nice. The phone, stunning picture quality, acts as a phone as well, downside you can get interrupted by a phone call. But 
quite interesting that one watch the space look at the Iceland film it's a lovely bit of filming and then this one the big Canon very nice camera but it is more of a technical thing more things that go wrong but you can get stunning for, uh, shots if you're like my son John and know how to use it properly so there you are a quick roundup and of course the Canon we're filming with at the moment fairly compact I always feel the focus is a little bit dodgy but there you are anyway thanks for watching the film happy shooting and bye for now.